In this video, we'll look at our Block Styles feature. With this feature, you can make all sorts of small tweaks to the design of your pages, including font sizes, background colors, and even changing your accept button color. You'll find styling tools everywhere you see this icon. You can make changes to entire blocks or to specific elements like headings, lists, or block quotes. Let's start in a text block. I'll head over to the Block Styles menu so we can change this block as a whole. First, I can set the background color of this block. I can choose from a selection of my brand colors, or if I want, I can use a custom color. I can click Edit and paste in an HTML hex code. I can also change the width of the content in the block, and then I'll set the block spacing. That adjusts the margins at the top and bottom. The Block Styles menu has three tabs, so let's move over to the Text tab now. Here, I can change the color of all the text in this block at once. I can also set the font size to larger or smaller and change the alignment. But that's not all I can do with text. I can highlight any text on the page and bring up a toolbar. I can use that to switch my text to a heading or a list or bold it, but the real fun comes in when I click on the block styles icon in this toolbar. This lets me change the color, size, and alignment for my highlighted text. I have an H1 heading here. I can change the color and make it bigger or smaller. These changes will apply to all H1 headings within this block. Whether you're adjusting the color of the text or the bullets in a list, or changing the style of a block quote, anywhere you see the paint roller, click on it and you'll be met with the styling options you have for that spot. Let's head over to a splash block with an image background now. My text is a little hard to read here, so I'll add a background tint, and I'll change the opacity. I can even add a background card to help the text pop out a little bit more. Now let's explore the third tab of the Block Styles menu, the Animation tab. Animations are motion effects that add a wow factor to my pages. You can add them to any block. Here, I can animate the elements of my block separately or all together, and they can fade or slide into view. In a quote block, I can make the same block level style changes like color, width, and spacing, but I can also click on the heading of any section of my quote and make even more style changes. I can have a quote match the background or a contrast from it in a card format. I can add a different color to section headings and even set a highlight color to better display my discounts. Lastly, in the Accept block, I can use the Style menu to change the color and alignment of my Accept button. You can also save block styles and reuse them in the future. Once you've made your tweaks, click on that Style Library icon. You'll be able to save what you've created. Later on, if you want to reuse that style in another block, you can head back to the library and choose your style. And that's Block Styles in a Nutshell. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to reach out to us at help at quiller.com or click on that help button at the bottom right of your account.